Okay, hello everybody. I'm Neil Sorensen. I'm a communication specialist with the Land Portal Foundation, and I'm here with uh, Jean Maurice Duran, a senior land tenure expert with the Land Tenure Unit of the ESP Division of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. And uh, right now, the second Arab Land Conference is currently happening in Cairo, Egypt. And this is the last day of the, the Arab Land Conference where uh, uh, Jean Maurice ha has been a speaker. And so we wanted to take this opportunity to have an interview with Jean Maurice and, uh, and to get his uh, insights into what is going on in the land space in the Arab sector. Jean Maurice, um, tell us a little bit about your work um, on, on land issues and how it relates to the Arab region. Okay, uh, thank you, Neil. Uh, so, as you said, I am a land tenure expert in uh, the land tenure unit of, of FAO. Uh, I am seconded uh, by uh, Expertise France, actually, uh, to, to FAO. And uh, I am uh, specifically focusing on Francophone countries, actually. Uh, so I intervene a lot in West Africa, uh, North Africa, etc. And some uh, of the countries uh, I'm working uh, with, uh, such as Mauritania or Tunisia, for example, are uh, concerned actually are invited in the in the second Arab Land conference. So we we have already activities in some of the of the countries of the of the Arab region. Let's say, uh, as you know, uh, our uh, backbone uh, the backbone of the our intervention uh, in terms of of land tenure and land governance is uh, the voluntary guidelines on the responsible tenure uh, governance of tenure. Uh, so uh, this is the, 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 the document uh, negotiated uh, in 2012 and, and endorsed by the Committee on Health Food Security, which is the basis actually of our work in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, throughout the world in many countries. Um, I think this, uh, this second Arab Land Conference, uh, following the one uh, held in Dubai in 2018, is of high importance, actually. Uh, there are a lot of uh, land uh, tenure challenges in, in, uh, in this region. Uh, I will not cite all of them, actually, because they are, they are numerous. But uh, during this conference, we have uh, re recalled the importance of topics such as uh, women access to land, secure women access to land, land recognition of women's land rights, the importance of youth, actually, also, which, uh, which is a uh, a key question, a key challenge in the, in the Arab region as well. Uh, we have highlighted uh, as FAO several important aspects, I think, of, uh, of land tenure and land governance, in particular, uh, the potential, uh, uh, let's say, uh, impact that, that, that can have the development of land consolidation. And we have organized a round table on this uh, with, with uh, more than 110 participants, which was quite interesting. And uh, we have also uh, organized another round table on uh, how to integrate uh, VGGT principles in uh, the uh, land degradation neutrality uh, processes. Uh, indeed, uh, we, ha we are currently developing a technical guide uh, in collaboration with the UNCCD. This is a demand of the COP14 of UNCCD, and uh, we are developing this technical guide to actually uh, uh, facilitate uh, land degradation uh, uh, mitigation measures uh, by uh, taking into consideration integrating the land tenure issues. So these are some uh, of the important aspects that we have addressed in this uh, in this. Uh, uh, second Arab Land Conference, uh, not the only ones. I will cite also uh, the uh, notion of water tenure on which we are currently uh, working uh, through uh, some projects in, uh, in several countries, including in the Arab uh, region. Uh, so these are these kind of, uh, let's say, uh, uh, topics that we have addressed. 
and which are uh, already uh, uh, addressed in our work in, in the field. And thank you, John Maurice. This morning in your presentation, you mentioned that the promotion and facilitation of sustainable multi-stakeholder approaches and mechanisms is really important for obtaining land rights. Uh, can you uh, share your your thoughts on on that statement? Yes, sure. The, as you know, uh, the the multi-stakeholder platforms uh, is something which is uh, recommended uh, in the in the voluntary guidelines. Uh, in uh, paragraph 26.2, uh, the voluntary guidelines recommend actually uh, to uh, let's say set up this kind of uh, of multi-stakeholder mechanism at local, uh, national, or regional level. Uh, we have uh, supported uh, through projects actually uh, these kind of uh, multi-stakeholder mechanisms, uh, notably in West Africa, but also in the Arab region in uh, in Mauritania. Mauritania has uh, set up a, a national multi-stakeholder platform and a local also multi-stakeholder platform uh, in Bogue in the Senegal River Valley. Uh, why is it uh, is it interesting and is it uh, to be fostered actually uh, to set up this kind of, of multi-stakeholder mechanism? First of all, uh, I think this is a, 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 a good arena for a peaceful uh, dialogue on land issues and challenges and uh, to find solutions to, to cope with them actually. Uh, when you have a land reform, uh, a land agenda to transform actually land administration, to improve land administration, land governance, uh, this is a very good way, I think, of addressing the issues uh, to put uh, together uh, all the concerned actors from uh, government, civil society, uh, but also private sector, if possible, and also uh, uh, professional organizations such as farmer organizations, etc. Uh, the organizing a peaceful debate actually is a good way to, uh, let's say, uh, prepare all together uh, responses to to these uh, to these important challenges. And the dialogue is not uh, is not uh, easy in general regarding non, non tenure So this is uh, this is an arena where uh, this uh, dialogue can be uh, facilitated. Uh, this morning, precisely uh, during the, the master class uh, organized by uh, by Willy Zimmerman, we we talked about a very important aspect also of uh, land governance in the in the Arab region, which is uh, capacity development. Uh, as you know, FAO has a lot to uh, offer in terms of capacity development, as we have developed e-learning courses uh, on land tenure, uh, technical guides, etc. And uh, capacity development needs are very important. I think in the in the Arab region, it has been uh, it has been said by by many uh, many participants of the of the session. Okay. And the multi stakeholder platforms uh, can be a very good arena also to organize, uh, let's say, uh, capacity development activities. In particular, because you have precisely these different uh, categories of, of actors. And in particular, uh, you can uh, put together uh, governments and uh, civil society organizations, and they, and they can learn together and even from each other, uh, which is uh, otherwise a bit difficult sometimes. So I think this is a very good arena uh, to, uh, to, to do that. Uh, I must say that we have also uh, interesting collaborations uh, about the, the multi-stakeholder platforms with ILC in particular, who is also uh, supporting this kind of mechanism. And in some countries, we, we collaborate uh, in, uh, in supporting them. So uh, yes, I, I think this is clearly uh, something to, to, be, to be further developed. Uh, and uh, they are not uh, so numerous in the Arab world. And I think it can be a real opportunity. And the experience of Mauritania for, for this, uh, to this regard, can be, can be a good source of, uh, for inspiration. All right, thank you so much, Jean-Maurice and Durand here. Uh, thank you for your important insights into what's happening in your work and, and how it affects is important for the Arab region. We really appreciate your insights. Yeah.
Thank you, thank you very much, and I, I uh, really uh, appreciated this second Arabland conference, and I, uh, I thank very much uh, the, the organizers and the government of Egypt, because it was a real challenge to organize this conference in, uh, in these difficult conditions, and I think they have really succeeded in doing something uh, uh, profitable for, for all the participants, so really uh, I thank them to, for, for, this, uh, for these efforts.